Ready to mix? Yes. All right, I need two packs of gold. Let's just use gold. You guys you know the differences between the different material and what you use it for? The packs that are in there. Crown and Bridge have different packs. This is normally using golden, which is what she's got. This is uh, no no because he used the Crown and Bridge stone on this one. This is more dense. This is more um, finer part of the game. Yeah, it's finer, it's more accurate. But this is this will do for your alternate impression, but you study cast. And the reason for that is the compressive strength of this stone is just the right amount so during processing the lab can do whatever they want. When they do your full denture cases, I know this is a full denture impression, but the base when they separate that after processing when they clean off the acrylic, the stone is actually broken up. Okay, so if if, if you poured your maxillary or mandibular full denture cases using crown and bridge stone, that's going to be tougher for the lab. To, 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 uh, I don't think we learned the difference from stone. We just learned yellow stone. You know, okay. those are yellow. So yeah. we got to know which yellow for what purpose. Yeah. So okay. this one's yellow. Okay, so this is dye stone. Okay. This is for crown and bridge. Okay. Okay. So there's another pack in there that says uh, golden. Go ahead and get it. What does it say that it's dye stone? Right oh, there. I see. Okay. So if you just take the time to read each pack, yeah. you pretty much know what it's for. Because we were just taught yellow, pink, you know, and we don't know the difference between crown and, you know. Okay. So it wasn't covered in dental materials? Doctors. I mean, we were just... Dr. Shen. Maybe we forgot. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's another thing you've got to review. If you haven't had that coverage, find that. All right. So Monster Stone, there's another one that says pink in there yeah. instead of golden. Could you get me one pack? All right. So on most of your Crown and Bridge cases, this is what you would use. This is what it's for. Okay. And if you see... Oh. What about for occlusal guards and stuff? Occlusal for? Occlusal night guards and stuff you would use? Um, I could use this. I would use this. Because sometimes you have to trim them. This is harder to trim as a big, um, as a big stone. Okay. Silky Rock Violet. This is also a dye stone. Okay. See if you see in the boxes, it says microstone, but pink. All right, so now we're dealing with one, two, three types. There's one more you got, you guys know, and then the mounting stone. If you can get me a pack of mounting stone, it should be in one of the drawers. Lots of different stones. So this is really sad. <laughs> we should get these all like, typed scary. up and laminated and just put them all over there. I think it's one of the things you hear it once, it probably sticks with you. So it's just. Yeah, and you see don't yellow so is clearly. yellow, but you've got to know why you're using it. What, what? I already forgot which one's for I mean, I think we learned what was for what, but they never actually pointed out on the packages. There was so no connection. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This is not it. They're, they're trying to find it, but that's another one. This is mounting stone. So that's just for them. This is what you use for this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me see if I get another one. Yeah, that's okay. Just keep in mind that there is a pink version of the gold. They, each box has a vial, so you can measure the, the prescribed amount of water. And if you turn each, not this one. Okay, this is important. In the back of it, you should also take time to read it, okay? Because it'll tell you the characteristics and the use, probably use of the stone, okay? It'll tell you the water powder ratio. I don't know if you guys went through that. If you're gonna hand mix it, how much working time you have. If you're gonna vacuum mix it, how much working time you have, okay? And then um, when you can separate. 
Anything less than that time can lead to fracture. Okay. So what happens when you mix gypsum products? Your lattice is shaped initially. In the first suspension, that's the first start of your lattice formation, or crystallization. Right? The more lattices are shaped in that amount of liquid, the more dense the stone will be. The more suspended the lattices are, the less strength more fracture. So that's what leads you to know what water bottle ratio is. What I learned is if I follow this to the letter, it's excellent. But if I really want to strengthen my cast, and that, this is by practice, I don't expect you to do it right away. I normally reduce the amount of water recommended by three to three But what does that do? It reduces your working time. Okay. More water takes more time to set. All that crystallization takes more time. Less water, you better work fast. The less water you use, the faster you need to work. So in the process of trying to work with the way I've been taught and the way I think it would work, every lab tech has their own way. So don't, don't look at mine as the only way. You're gonna pick up different techniques from others and that's fine, whatever works for you. What works for me is I reduce, even if it's alginate, okay, because I really want my, my um, pour up to be right on. I don't want it to slide away from me. And that's part of the problem here. Is when you guys use this, it's just floating around. It's still liquid, semi. I wanted to get some resistance by reducing the amount of water because as I handle it, that resistance is what shapes, uh, uh, enables me to shape the stone while it's still soft. So for this purpose, we're going to use golden. This we can park away. Okay, so you got two dice stones here. All right. The other thing on, you want to see is. Compressive strength, okay? The one I'm talking about, the one that says pink. No, there's another one that says yellow, microstone yellow or pink. Those have more compressive strength than the golden. Okay, so I would use those for, for um, study models. But for, this is good for study models too. I use it for, um, Full dentures cases, that's what I would use, the yellow and the pink. But obviously, they've standardized it to just this one. I don't know if they know the difference or not, but I prefer to have my a good selection of stone to, to match what my needs are. Okay. So you just use golden for diagnostic? I use golden for diagnostic. But if it's a denture case and it's the final, I use the yellow or the pink. I use the yellow. Uh, you know what? I got some downstairs. Oh, I'm locked out. I can't. I don't have to that would have been a perfect one. So, but I'll show it to you later. The different stones that you, you should be familiar with for your purposes. Okay, so we've covered what to look for. How do you think he did this? Using what? Okay. This is a technique where somebody. Um, whip up some alginate, maybe twice as much, put it in a larger mixing bowl, float it in, and then put the alginate, the, the, the second alginate onto it. Separating that gives you this impression. You can actually see it. Here's the bowl, bottom of the bowl. The alginate was up to this level. We put the new alginate down here and separated it and then poured the stone over it. So what's the risk of, what's the negative part about this? That bowl is flexible. Okay. 
on the alternator also being uh, the way it is, it just loses moisture. So it's shrinking as you have working paper. You're outside of a uh, moist environment. But this is not as accurate as what you would like. Alright, ready for me to demo how I do it? Um, let's use gold. And let's say you have a ma uh, mandibular impression. This is an alternate impression. So what would be coming out of the mouth, what would you do? Standard? Disinfect it. Disinfect it. Maybe wrap it in wrap paper and take it to the lab. Put it in the bag. Take it to the lab. Come in here. Rinse it again. Wear your gloves. Okay. And over there. Um, let me get as much. Do you have any of the spatula that's pointed? This is the only one you have? This is more like that. You don't have those pointed. That's okay. Let me know. See what else I have. 100%. This is helpful. Glad it came today. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. I am, especially since I have to do this on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do this too. Monday? Yeah. Not Monday, but okay. patient. If you're, after I'm if, you're, doing. if you're still researching, if you're unsure about what these stones are, what makes this the company? Okay. These are the products that they carry. The dry stones. Used for models, okay? Specialty stone, we don't have the plasters or there's a mounting plaster, which is mounting stone, okay? So here's the different types of product they carry. All the information about water powder ratio, mixing time for each one of these are available, okay? different languages but yeah if you need this they're always available in any box okay so plasters specialty stones model stones here's your microstone golden so these are model stones dry stones are here all right so I'm going to use golden, which is a model stone. Normally, all I need is one pack for this size of, of uh, impression. If I need more, then I double it. If I really want to save money, then I would ask, I want a pack and a half. Here's what I do. I pat it down so it's even. One pack, okay. Fold it in half. Cut it. Use only one half plus one. That's one and a half. And then how much water do I use? 40 ml plus one half of 40 will be 60. I measure 60 here, but I want less water. I would normally go 38 plus half of 38, 19. That's what I would measure in my bag if I use one and a half. But to make it easy, just take two packs. Okay? And then double the water. Minus two each, and that would be 76. Okay? 76, you only get. This is up to 100 ml, so it's an easy measure up to here. Okay. So someone measure 38 for me. And then normally you need a vacuum hose for this. I think there are some already set on the machine. Okay, but we want to make sure they work. So turn it on, put your finger at the tip of the vacuum and see if the needle goes to get suction. 